chowing down. Sweet dreams, sweet dreams. My kibbles, oh, they're gone, gone! Oh, Mr. Chow, that's a nightmare! But I know the perfect palace pet to solve this mystery. Fern, we've got a mystery on our paws. My owl senses felt that. What happened, Mr. Chow? My kibbles! They've disappeared! When I went to sleep, the shop was chock full of kibble. But when I woke up, every last bit of it was gone, gone, gone. Hmm. Take me to the scene of the missing kibbles. Careful. We don't want to disturb the scene of the crime. Hmm. Aha! White fur. Lots of animals in Whiskeraven have white fur. That's true, Dreamy. There's berry and windflower. Oh, windflower is, is known for swiping trees. Splashes of water. Interesting. Aha! Barnaby Pickles splashes water when carrying Pierre the fish. Ooh. I have all the evidence I need to identify our kibble crook. Windflower, Barnaby Pickles, Pierre the fish. I've called you here because something is missing from Mr. Chow's kibble shop. <gasps> the kibbles! I love kibbles. Oh, wait. I mean, I didn't do it. Our first clue? was this white fur. But that white fur isn't like my white fur. And our next clue was water splashed all over the shop. Pierre, how could you not share all those kibbles with me? Menon, not me, Barnaby. It's true. The kibbles culprit wasn't Windflower, Barnaby Pickles, or even Pierre the Fish. It was Mr. Chow. What? what? Oh, my. Hey. <sighs> Mr. Chow? But how? Elementary. He was sleep eating. <laughs> While Windflower does have white fur, raccoon fur is a completely different texture than Mr. Chow's. And I tested the water from the floor. It did not come from Pierre's fishbowl. It came from Mr. Chow's water bowl. Oh, I feel terrible. And not just because I ate all that kibble. <laughs> Thank you, Palace Pets, for solving the mystery of the missing kibbles. Hearts, hooves. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> Whisker Haven Buddies Day. which are posted on that scarecrow. Here with me, buddy. We're explorers, Gleam. Let's do it. You'll never guess who my buddy is. I'm guessing me. You'll be the perfect partner, Petite. Whiskerhaven buddies. Each team must work together. The first team to reach the finish line wins. Are you ready? <laughs> The maze race begins! According to my book, we must choose our direction wisely and remember where we've been. Or we could just... Fun! <laughs> uh, guess I'll have to do this without a buddy. Oh, oh, oh. I'm totally finishing first! My book states to carefully consider each turn. In doing so, I will come to the end. Hmm, but Niall isn't here. And my book also says the most important maze rule is never leave a buddy behind.
I need to find Niall so we can get through this maze together. Gotcha! Petite! I'm so happy to see you! And I'm so sorry I just ran off. Oh, thank you. How about we work together to get out of this maze, Whisker Haven buddy? Hearts, hooves, paws! This way, Niall! I think it's this way. <laughs> Great job, Niall! Come on! Yeah. Yeah. You made it! Bouncing bananas! I want to thank Petite for being the best buddy this monkey can have. Thanks! And next time, we're gonna win, because Petite's buddy won't be monkeying around. <laughs> Spin, and leap, and twirl, and pose, and curtsy. I'm almost ready for my dance recital. Dress rehearsal, done. Programs, printed. Refreshments? <gasps> Barry, are the cookies ready? Almost! Nothing says, welcome to Pumpkin's dance recital, like a gingerbread cat cookie. Hmm, I thought they were saying, eat me, treasure. Oh, you? <laughs> you have to wait for the dance. Now, will you please hand me the sprinkles? Aye, aye, sprinkles for her royal sweetness. Hmm, these are the shiniest. Here you go. Thank you. My blueberry pie! What kind of sprinkles did you give me? Oh, Splendificent! That's where I left my magic glitter bits! Magic glitter bits? Oops! Oh! Help! Someone please stop this cookie fiasco! This, this dessert disaster! You might even call it a catastrophe! Get it? cat catastrophe? Because they're kidding, Cookie? <laughs> Treasure! It's not funny! My show will be ruined if you don't catch those cookies! Aye aye! There they are! Catch them! <laughs> gotcha! Dear <laughs> 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 Cookie Cookie! cookies running about, I won't be able to perform my perfect pirouettes or my lovely leaps. <gasps> Keep dancing, pumpkin! Oh, if you like. <laughs> Everybody dance! Meow. These cookies are good. All right, pumpkin, bring them over here. Looky, looky, dookie, go back and be a cookie. Oh, no, but wait. May I keep them just for the show? I promise they'll behave. I'll help. Well, all right. The show can go on. Now that's what you call the cookie boogie. Hooray! On the hunt! Welcome to the first annual Whisker Haven scavenger hunt! Each team has a clue. You must solve your clue and find your item so we can have some splendificent fun together. <gasps> Bippity boppity boo. I come in pink and blue. You'll find me laying on a shelf. I'm perfect for tutus? Well, the only place for tutus is Tilly's Tutu Tailor. Hello, Tilly. What comes in pink and blue is on a shelf and is perfect for tutus. Huh, let's see. <gasps> the hats are pink and blue. Oh, but they aren't on a shelf. What do you think, Dreamy? Dreamy? Wake up! I need your help. I was helping. In my dream, I was on a shelf with beautiful tulle in pink and blue. Hey, here they are! Oh, Dreamy! Your dreams are just what we needed! <laughs> hi-ho, hi-ho, hi-ho! We are very easy to throw or bounce us up into the air and see how high we'll go. An airplane! <laughs> Airplanes don't bounce. Bunnies bounce! Sultan, you can't throw a bunny! Whoops! Um... A ball! Yes! Lucy Squeak and Ball Shop! Hole in one! <laughs> Excuse us, Lucy.
Missy. We need a ball. Big, small, squeaky, squawky, shimmery, shiny. <laughs> Actually, we need a bouncy ball. I have just the thing. <laughs> Yummy, tasty treats. Delicious and nutritious for this birdie to eat. Oh, birdies eat birdsey to Mr. Chow. Hello, Mr. Chow. Do you happen to have some bird seed? What are you looking for? Pecan pellets? Woodpecker walnut? Chickadee chicory? How about a bird seed buffet? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, superb Whiskerhaven scavengers! Now lift and shake! Featherbon, I see why we needed the tool and the ball, but why did we get the bird seed? Oh, dearie, dearest me. <laughs> that was my grocery list. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Splendificent! I found one. Mmm, buried treasure for treasure. Huh? Hey! What did I tell you? Uh... Oh, yeah. Now treasure. I told you a hundred times. Um... I can't remember the rest. I know! I know! Now treasure. I told you a hundred times. The biscuits are for the Harvest Haven Royal Treat Feast. That's right! <laughs> Wait, I don't sound like that. Oh, Bluest Berry Me! We'll never have enough biscuits for all the Crittersons at the feast! Ugh! Digging for biscuits is no fun! I want to play! I know! Let's play the Whiskerhaven Biscuit Finding Champion Game! The Whiskerhaven Biscuit Finding Champion Game? That sounds amazing! Whoever collects the most treats wins! Get ready! Get set! Harvest! <laughs> Petite, what are you doing? Research. How to harvest. First, find a tree with sneeze moss on it. Is this sneeze moss? Achoo! I guess so. Carver and Catfish! I got another one! Good job, treasure! Sultan scores! Yay, Sultan! Follow the direction of the sneeze moss for 17 paces. Petite, maybe you could try a little faster? Time's up! Let's see who won! Wait for me! Here's what I found, but... There's nothing in it. <laughs> Ooh, not that. This! Ugh. That little basket wasn't big enough for this biscuit. Bouncing blueberries! How did you find that? My big guide to big biscuits book. It's easy when you follow directions. <laughs> I think that definitely counts as the most treats. Get ready! The Whisker Haven Biscuit Finding Champion is going to ring the dinner bell. Oh, thank you. Let's see here. Dinner bell ringing manual. Step one, ring the bell. I can do that. Let the Harvest Haven Royal Treat Feast begin! Sorry, Sultan. These biscuits are only for pets attending the tea party. That's the rule. It's right here in my tea party rule book. Tea parties have lots of rules. That's why they're fun. Can't believe I'm saying this. But can I play tea party with you? Please, please, please. You'd have to follow all the rules. No problem. Uh, uh. Okay, I'm all fancy pants up. Now, B! 
Please get me. Uh, uh, uh. The rules say before eating, we must make small talk. Small, 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 small. What are you doing? Uh, small talk? Can I have a biscuit yet? <sighs> All right. Sultan, would you care for a biscuit? You bet I would. Rule 27, be polite. Oh, I mean, yes, please, Barry. Oh, dear! You don't have a napkin. Ugh. Ugh. Oops, I'll get it. Oh, no, 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 no. You guys sit. But the rules say when someone leaves the table, we all have to stand and curtsy. <gasps> oh, no, glitter bits. Whoa. Carpet just like Aladdin's. Whoa! Whoa! Sultan! Help! I would, but I don't know the tea party helping rules. Forget the rules! I can do that. Hmm. Huh? Bounce and blueberries! No problem. <clears throat> but oh, it looks like our tea party's ruined. Maybe there's a section on dealing with flying carpets. I've got a better idea. And where we're going, we don't need rules. More biscuits, Sultan? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Now, this is what I call a high-flying tea party. <laughs> Breezy does it. Glendificent <laughs> steeplechase race ponies, at tonight's Royal Pony Palooza celebration, I will be giving an award to the pony that has best embraced all the elements of the royal heart of friendship. According to my Royal Pony Palooza rulebook, Ponies' bridles and saddles must be finely decorated. Meow, meow, meow. But how are we going to get groomed to prepare our bridles and saddles? Never you fret, ponies. Dearie, dearest me, who could that be? Yeehaw, it's me. I'll have those bridles and saddles decorated and dazzling by tonight. <laughs> Bree, are you sure you can finish everything by yourself? Sure. Just drop those bridles and saddles off in the stable and get to your grooming. Thanks, Bree. Giddy up, Boo Ride him, Cow Mouse. Yeah, hi. Oh, Bree, the saddles are going to be the hit of the Royal Pony Palooza celebration. Thanks. One down. <laughs> Nine to go! Oh, my! Blueberry pie! <gasps> I'm not gonna finish in time! Hey! Wait! Barry and I would love to help you with the saddles. I don't want folks thinking I couldn't do it on my own. <laughs> no one is going to think anything like that, Bree. And letting your friends help is always something to be celebrated. Thank you so much! I'm so lucky to have such great friends. Now, let's do this! Hearts, hooves, paws! We did it! Places, palace pets! Let the Royal Pony Palooza celebration begin! Ciao! Nya bella! Ciao! Yay! Yay! Our first Royal Pony Palooza Award is for Best Sportsmanship. And the award goes to. Bree! What? But I'm not a pony. You may not be a pony, but without you, the Royal Pony Palooza would not have happened. Thank you, Bree. Thank you all so much. Pumpkin and Berry, can you come up here too? Because I couldn't have done this without you. Ha, 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 ha.